as someone who follows history while also in the same breath not knowing a lot about history, the trailer to Goldat had me intrigued. I thought it'd be another story on war with Helen Mirren as the lead, but rather the story is a lot more truthful than just war. Prime Minister Golda Meir is forced to figure out how to save Israel from complete uh, devastation amongst the 1973 war uh, Yom Kippur, a story of the country's first female Prime Minister going toe-to-toe -to -toe with male government officials. Now, I also understand that watching this, that Helen Miriam is not from Israel, um, she has no cultural background, um, at least from what we know within the public eye, and I also know that she is posterically made up to fit within the scope of this storyline, which I understand causes a lot of ruffles with people uh, who are from Israel and have that background. Uh, but let me give you my full opinion of Golda. Watching Golda play out felt incredibly different to all the other war movies I've seen. Golda felt more like watching a stage play with the way that it's carefully curated with its subtle physical movements and its set design. It doesn't rely heavily on dialogue like most war movies may do. It relies more on the fact that it's it's about there's no winners in war. It's about the fact that not just on either side of the fence, whether the uh, regardless of who you're battling, that there will be no winners. But it's also about the fact that there is widows and orphans, and at the centre of it, there's politics. At the centre of it, there is also humans, and it tries to humanise war. It tries to humanise the choices that Golda and the men in the room did. Now, um, let me be perfectly honest, I literally know nothing about Israel. I also know nothing about their war, let alone their politics. I couldn't even tell you Australian politics, and, I'm, and I live here. But what I can tell you just from watching Golda is that it doesn't necessarily paint her as the villain that I did a quick research on, claiming that they were the, that she was the Iron Lady of Israel, but nor does it paint her as the saint. It paints her as a woman in a role that is more traditionally known for men. In the 1970s, she was the first female prime minister in Israel. She's got a bunch of men around her who think they know better than her. She's in a role where politics and military don't necessarily go hand in hand just yet, but they still have that clear communication. She's also in a role where she knows that if she wasn't a woman, she would get more respect. And, and it's, it's one of those interesting things. The movie, like I said, reads as a stage play purely because the way that it feels, its camera movements, its set design, its strategically blocked actors, all feel like we are watching them from a stage. The way that even as the archive footage plays out, it, it feels as if we are watching it on a projection screen rather than having it intertwined with the movie itself. Golda is incredibly hard to sit through. Now, I sat through an event screening where I was the only person under 50. I sat in an event screening with a bunch of senior citizens and every single one of them knew this story. Every single one of them had a thought to say on Golda and the Israel war. Every single one of them knew who President Nixon was and Henry Kissinger. Every single one of them knew that she tried and that all she wanted was peace. I don't know that story. I don't know anything about Golda. Do I know Golda after watching this? I know to an extent that she is a woman. And a woman away from the traditional roles. A woman who has been forced to play a hand and tell the story the best she can. Do I paint her as a villain? No. Do I paint her as a saint? She's a politician. Are they ever saints? I paint her as a human being who tried. I, I have nothing really to say about this besides the fact that the whole point of me watching Golda was to learn something new. The whole point of me watching Golda was to understand a piece of history that I literally know nothing about. Does Helen Mirren do a good job portraying Golda Meir? I don't know because I can't compare apples to oranges. They do have archive footage of the actual woman being used throughout the film, but again, it's not enough for me to fully understand the importance of Golda. 
I do know that at times Helen Mirren sounds exactly like Helen Mirren. She's got the mannerisms that only that woman can give. So it does pull you out of the scene at times because you're like, hold on, you're Helen Mirren and you're not Golda Mirren. But other than that, this film isn't too bad to sit through. It is a war film, which may not be everyone's cup of tea. It's a war film set from the 1970s, which again is a story that not a lot of people know. It is also an Israel war film up against Egyptians, which is another part of history that, again, not many knew. So I don't think it will get the rave reviews or the acknowledgements that it may or may not deserve, but it is definitely a story that needs to be heard.